In this week's episode, I jump on board Big Cat Reality for a long range Swains Reef mission to test out some new gear with the team from Wilson Fishing. Here's a little taste of what's in store. Oh, oh no. Oh, 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 proper one. Oh, oh, what is that? Oh. <laughs> oh, I just got rinsed. G'day ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to a very special Sammy Hitsky fishing adventure. This is the long awaited return trip to the Swains Reef System with the crew from Wilson Fishing. Now our noble steed for this journey is Big Cat Reality. You would have seen him in some of my other videos. This is the very first day. We've just left port. We're steaming out. We've got a day and a half of steaming. And I hope to bring you a big slice of the action from out here. The possibilities are endless. The fish are plentiful. It's going to be a hell of a trip. Thanks very much for joining us. Really hope you enjoy the series. Not just this video, but the videos that follow. It's going to be an absolute adventure, guys. Stoked to have you along for the ride. Have we go, man? Bit of excitement down the back here. Possibly a little bit of first night fever about to kick in. Beers are about to be cracked. I'll give you guys a bit of a look around. Uh, we're very lucky on these trips. We test a lot of the gear that Wilson's going to be bringing out over the next year and it's new to the, their catalogues. There is gear everywhere. Uh, this is the top section. This is where we're keeping all the storage. And I'll show you the rod racks downstairs. It's absolute madness. Yeah. Just a couple of couple of setups here. catch them it won't because we didn't bring enough gear. <laughs> no, we certainly brought enough gear. <laughs> Wait, more than ever. Well there you go, PB for bringing gear. <laughs> Sammy catches the first fish. Well, he's got 10 rods out. Of course he's going to catch the fish. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's right. Alright, that's good. Yeah. Wash it off. 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 Yeah. Wash it just pull that guy on a skirt. Pull the lure straight back out and oh, hang on. Cords on and speed on It's a shark, is it? Yeah, it's a shark. Fish catches right here, don't the know legend, what everyone else Sammy. is doing. The legend. We use him for bait tonight. Oh, he's bait. And cool. We've been travelling most of day two. It's about four, five o'clock in the Arvo. We've finally reached our destination, our first stop of the trip. Yeah, we do it pretty tough out here. Slim rations, just the old uh, seafood platter on arrival. Get in there, Doug. 
That'll do Absolutely. it. Absolutely. Welcome to the first day of fishing. Sun is just getting up. We're a million miles from anywhere. What a day, we've got about 10 knots of breeze. Enough to keep you nice and cool on the boat. Have a go with the madness that's going on out the back here. Everyone's getting ready. Boats are getting packed, tenders getting launched. The uh, crew of Big Cat have already been up. They've got the uh, one of the boats off. Okay, yeah, there we go. They've got <clears throat> the Wilson boat. The next one to come off is the cruise craft. We're on. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be our tender for the day. We are tender three. Here with Wardy up the front there. You guys would remember Wardy from a mackerel live baiting session we did uh, last year, I think it was, wasn't it, Wardy? Yeah, last season. Last season. So we're buddied up. We're going to catch some fish today. Big cat in the background. Just doing a bit of maintenance, a bit of housekeeping on this. Get it ready to rock and roll, then we're going to do some travelling. We've got a high tide at the moment, so we're going to get up on the flats and try and get some trout, some uh, red throat. Just a bit of visual hard and fast fishing. Oh. oh no. Oh no. Go on. Off ya? Yeah. Is that on the rough trail? Was, yeah. Oh, that was quick. On the long cast. On the long cast. First look up at the swains. Got smoked. <laughs> oh no, we got me lure back. Oh. Ripper. Rubber hooks. Just poor angling, I suppose. Send it back out there then. Looked all right. Took a bit of line. Felt a bit trouty. Kind of the hit and stop, and then go. Oh, let's have a go then. There it is. <laughs> This is not as big, it's a trout! Yeah! Oh, not a big one. But good to get on the board. Go in the bag. Only fitting that the first fish of the Swain's trip is a little coral trout. I'm going to be nice, I'm going to let this guy go for being the first fish of the trip. And he's a little cutie. That's good to be on the board. More than we can say for Steve. <laughs> The chat has begun. Well, not many other trout will receive this treatment. See you later, mate. So we're in two meters of water. We're chucking stick baits. This is a uh, rough trail. Wardy's got one of the Venom V swims and we're just chucking them over these shallow bommies. And this is fast and furious fishing. Yes, Wardy. Get him. Right. You're on the board. Geez, they're pretty. Well, we've got our trout curse out of the way. Yeah. Current's definitely pushing now. Ten. There we go. There's a real one. He's going in the box. He's coming with us. The old flats fishing. Very slow, so we've gone back to Old Faithful. Fish trap and plastics in about 20 meters of water. Boom, second drop trout. Couple of eaters, and he scoffed that too. And look at that color, oh, Wardy's on. We got a pigeon pair? We have got a pigeon pair. He 
can pretty well do this on any drop off or ledge out here if you get bored or the fish aren't playing the game where you thought they would chuck the plastics and the fish traps on and sort the feed out first at least we know we've got seafood night covered now we're not going back empty handed Swains and Trout, name a more iconic duo even though Trout, one of the tastiest fish in the water still need to be brain spiked and bled somehow that ended up as my job Oh, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Look at the back. Oh, there's a spano. Yeah, look at the back though, the bait. Oh, oh yeah. Like a sourie or something. Oh, there's G's in them. Camera on. Gimbal on. <laughs> oh, right, guys, it's GT time. Oh. We're on a pressure edge, there's bait, probably sitting a touch wide. Oh. There we go, there we go, that's a G. I don't know. It exploded on it. I, just, I was about to say, I'll just slow it down a little bit more. <laughs> There we go, the first big hookup of the trip. Oh, it might be Mackie ish, is it? Yeah. It can be awkward if it's a sharky. Nah, that's G. Get out of your way here. Yeah? He ate it like a G. Well guys, I apologise, the back camera went off. Inopportune time to do so. It's alright. There we go, it's a G. First G of the trip. Just a baby. Where's the rest of him? Oh, he's alright. He's an alright one to open with. He's a, he's a good buddy rangefinder. Lovely. Oh. Do it! There we go. On the new fumble. On the fumble. Nice work, mate. First G of the trip. Yeah. <laughs> Just clarify that <laughs> real quick. And first G of the trip, number one, send him home. Loves it. Oh. oh, that would have been a banger. That moved some water. When's the last time that banger's seen a lure? How dare he refuse? Oh, is he on you? Yep. Bangerish. You buddy bug it off. A lot of swinging and missing going on here. I'm going to chuck that medium sort of popper on, I reckon. Give him something a bit slower and a bit louder. I'll chuck one out in this open section where it goes like that. Got 
Jesus. That was cool. Had a couple of swaps at it. There we go. Still a little bit green. A little schoolfish. Lovely. Yeah, he didn't miss. Did not miss. Well, GT1 for the trip is on the board. There you go, guys. Only a little banger by GT standards, but still a nice one. But they're feeding on some pretty small bait, so we had to, well, I downsized the popper, and he climbed all over it. This is a job for the D hooker. And there he is there. Just like that. He's got a bit of claret, but I think he'll be right. GTs are tough as nails. There we go. Give him a bit of a swim. Oh, 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 proper one. Oos, oos, oos. Coming for him. He's going to take you over that deep ledge. Oh, there's a big one. One, 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 one. Oh. That was an E. Righto, we should be going off the ledge now. Yeah, it's starting to get deeper. Still got him? Yeah. That was a sick eat. <laughs> <laughs> starting to fire up a little bit now. Is that first cast? Second. <laughs> I had one in shallow, and then I just seen a bit of nervous micro bait. Oh, no. You're out in 12 metres, you're good here. Epic! There he is down there. You can see the, the silver ball. Oos. He's a bit better. Yeah. Oh, like he's, yours, yeah. he's got one in the side. Yeah. He threw some water though. Still throwing some water. Ooh. I don't like that side texture. No. Oh well. We're warming up. We're ready for the big ones now. Slow start, but we're we're coming good now. That'll do. That'll do from you. I said that'll do. Easy next size up. Yeah. There you go. I'm three. Stick baits and pops. <laughs> oh, Hang yeah. Hanging. We'll have to edit that a little bit. <laughs> Speed up that process. We're warmed up now. That's a um. It's a nice entry. I'll probably give that a seven or an eight. Seven com, and a half. Com games, not Olympic level. Yeah, true, true. Oh, he's off. Oh no, he's still on. Brace yourself. Things in the reef. Oh, Gone. You're freezing or pop? Nah, pop. On the other side of that bommy. Gone. Back to the drawing board. When you do a cast into a risky spot and it pays off, sort of. Gone skis. It's my first rinsing of the trip. Dang. Well guys, we've just been back to Big Cat for a bite to eat. So we're back out. Have a bit of a jig for trout. We um we worked hard for those GTs this morning, so we're just gonna put a few runs on the board. Bend some rods, have a bit of fun, and then once that afternoon progresses, 
we'll give the G's another go. Unless, of course, we see the perfect opportunity to have another crack at them while, while we're here. In which case, all plans will go out the window and new plans will be assigned. Oh! <laughs> oh, I just got rinsed. I didn't even make it to the bottom. Oh yes, is that a G? Do you want us to move the boat or you're right where we are? Um, I'll go a bit out. Now I do distinctly remember saying we'd quickly change our mind. <laughs> the call of the GT is strong. Better fish you reckon? No, I think he might have one inside again. Oh yeah. There you go. The GT tally goes to four. Nice. <laughs> there we go. There's a nice darker colored GT. Scoff the big old pop. Nice one, mate. That trout session didn't last long. No, about two drops. <laughs> <laughs> nice. You on yet? 25 fish stacked on the bottom. Oh, there we go. There's a trout. <laughs> Got him. Oh, nice, Sammy. Nice trouty. Bit of the same old story here. Fish trap down a trout's gob. That's a better one. Yeah. Oh, what is it? Maybe. Maybe a trevally or something. What have we got here? He's having a bit of a go. Oh, he's got mates. What's he got behind him there? Might be like a tarum or something. Yeah, I think it's a big bludger. Oh no, it's a doggy. Oh, baby doggy. <laughs> There's more of them too. There's another one here. But this one's bigger. Yeah. Oh, I'm sure it's not, <laughs> but it's still sick. It's a yeah. Well, that's pretty cool. Just wondering why that guy was fighting weird. Dog tooth tuna on a fish trap. Only a bubba, but yeah, still a very cool fish. I think we might even take him back for some sashimi. Fantastic raw, these guys. Look at the big eye on them, big reef predators. There you go. Very happy. Well guys, I'm sure any of you who've tried filming stuff with the GoPro would know 
the second your battery runs out, you get a fish. Just had a oh, war, don't kick, mate. Don't kick. Just had a very cool eat off this guy, skipping the stick bait across the surface like a, uh, or like I was picturing a flying fish or a long tom. And he just came out of the water and absolutely crushed it. All shadows. Come this way. There we go. It's a bit better looking. Lovely. Crunched it. And he can go back. Big spear. Ooh. See the foam, not the splash? That brings marks up. That's probably going to be... Look, there's still a bit of splash. Probably seven and a half I'm going to give it. Still a good effort. Love that. Oh. oh. Got him. Yeah. Small fish though. Mate. Is he growing? Nah. That's a 14 inch, yeah. Well, oh, that's what your lights out though. Yeah. Oh, that's a bit of a look at him. Not for you. Nice, Gary. Boy, there we go. Oh, he's on the leader. There he is. Another banger release. Banger of a day. Oh, that was a good one. Oh, that's, that's an eight. Subtle. Eight point two. Oh. Oh. I think it's a doggy. Yeah. What is that? Oh no! Oh, he, you do, you pulled. Nah, pulled hooks. Is that trout here? Or I don't know. It was right in there. It was proper in there. I didn't see the eat. Was it supple? Nah, it was a big eat. Might have been a small GT or something. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed the first of many Swain's Reef episodes. We've got some awesome content on the way, including some red hot flat sessions, some GT madness, some deep jigging, some trolling, some soft plastic fishing, and a video that will contain every bit of gear that we use so you can make sure you never leave anything behind on your next reef trip. Guys, thanks very much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed the episode, and I can't wait to catch you next week for another Sammy Hitsky fishing adventure. Cheers.